Hi everybody and welcome to 30 Days of Thanksgiving. Please be sure to check out the other channels listed in the description box below. They're all part of this collaboration and we are having a blast. Up to 150 recipes shared in 30 days between five channels along with a lot of other stuff. Um, there was a cookbook recommendation, a really great tip for appetizers. I mean, there's just, this is a collaboration that you will enjoy, I hope. <laughs> okay, so tonight we are making a Fiesta Ranch Bacon Cheddar Cheese Ball. Is it a holiday without a cheese ball? I don't think so. But these are good any time of the year. Any time of the year. Who doesn't love a cheese ball? Um, so we're going to put this together and show you how we make it special, you know, with hashtag Fiesta Ranch World Domination. Okay, what you're going to need for this recipe is 16 ounces of cream cheese. That's two packages. One package of Fiesta Ranch mix. Um, you're going to need a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Tonight I'm going to be a little rebel and I'm using some smoked cheddar cheese. I think that's going to be really good. And then normally, I figure about six strips of bacon, but i got to tell you, I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. So Hormel, real crumbled bacon, is getting it. So however you want to do that, um, but you want at least six strips of bacon cooked and crumbled, okay? Let's get started. First, we're going to take the cream cheese and we're going to put it in the bowl. Okay, so we've got the two blocks of cream cheese in there. We're going to put a cup of the cheddar cheese in there. A little bit more, a little bit less. Who's counting? It's cheddar cheese. Okay. And then... We're going to add the equivalent, or what we think is the equivalent, of six pieces of crumbled bacon. Okay. Well, I might as well just put all of it, huh? No. I'll save a little bit for my salad. Okay. And then, one... I love this stuff. It's real bacon. Look at it. It's real bacon. Okay. Then, a package of... Fiesta Ranch mix. Okay. We're going to put this down. Now, if you don't have a KitchenAid, not a big deal. You can use a hand mixer. You can use a spatula and a bowl. Do what you got to do and get that all whipped up together. That's how quick it takes if you've got a mixer. It's super simple, super fast. I'm telling you, it smells so good. We, for some reason, have not been eating much of the Fiesta Ranch mix. Um, and so it's been a while, and wow, this smells so good. My mouth is watering. Okay, so I'm going to get the paddle out of here. And Okay, so right. I'm cheating and using a bowl because I just think it makes more sense. And I'm going to line this bowl with plastic wrap, okay? If you're crunching in the background, it's because the dogs only ever get hungry when I have the camera on. <sighs> okay, so we've got the plastic wrap, for the most part, lining the bowl. And now we are going to scoop out the mixture, put it into the bowl in the plastic wrap. try to get as much of it off the sides as you can because that would be Fiesta Ranch abuse. Okay. Well, gee, I gotta lick the spoon. Okay. So now it's in there. We're gonna use that plastic wrap to help us mold it into the shape of a ball. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this. I will be the first one to tell you that most of the time, I just stick it in a bowl. But... That would negate the name of the video, which is Cheese Ball. Okay. So we're going to get it all formed up nice in a ball. Rubber gloves are helpful, too. Okay. There we go. Scoop. 
squished it all down. Make a nice pretty ball. Okay, now we're gonna take that beautiful ball right there and we are going to put it into the fridge for at least an hour before we serve it, okay? The good part about this is that you can make this a couple days in advance and it's good for the appetizer that, you know, for Thanksgiving or whatever party. The bad news is I don't think it would last two days. I really don't. Um, if you make this, you run the risk of it vanishing before you actually intend to use it. So you might want to make two. So, yes to ranch cheese ball. You could decorate this a million trillion different ways. You could divide it into two or three smaller cheese balls. You can put multitudes of things around it. Crackers, pita chips, um, vegetables, anything, you know. And people will devour this. I have yet to see a cheese ball last the day. So this is today's contribution to 30 Days of Thanksgiving. Please make sure to check out the other channels and see what kind of really great stuff that they have put up today. And keep track of the playlist because that will have all of the videos for the entire month if you don't get to them as they come out. Okay, hashtag 30 Days of Thanksgiving. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until the next time, be safe.